Cookie from the Food Bank. We're back. I'll do something really quick, as usual. Um, I picked up some spare ribs at um, at Smart and Final. They weren't on sale, but they're like 20 something. I mean, 20. <laughs> they're two dollars. I think like two sixty-five a pound, which is pretty good. And um, all I did was bring them home. I just marinated for two days in teriyaki. So we're going to do quick oven uh, ribs. And it's been marinating, so I'm not going to add any salt. I'm actually going to use this special blend of paprika and a little cayenne and smoked paprika and a little bit of sugar and some other pepper and spices from my sister. So I'm going to just put that on. You can use any almost out you can use literally any seasoning you want this is a quick in the oven spare teriyaki spare ribs because they've been marinating in the teriyaki and then I have the oven preheating to um, 400 and I'm going to use my cast iron grill see I like coating it almost like a dry rub. Use um, Airwalk Farm. I really like them. They're black owned. You can get them at Mandela Grocery. I really like them. So this is a really good blend of the same kind of stuff. Paprika, garlic, onion, brown sugar. Really good. Now I usually heat this up really hot and then put it on and let it sear. That's okay. It'll, it'll get a good sear in the oven at 400. Plus I don't have the time. I just don't want to do it. So I'll put it meat down, bone up, get that in there so I can get a good crust on it. So I will turn it after, you know, sometime. All right, I'll be back to do the potatoes. Okay, you guys, we're going to mash some potatoes. We got a bag full of potatoes, white potatoes from, where did we get this from? <clears throat> I think the Village Project. Miss Adrian. Also, we get it in our food bank, and we also get it in um, the San Francisco Neighborhood Solidarity, which is our community organization with the Tennis Association. So, this is a comp. This is something that we get in all of our resources, and I want to th say thank you to every one of them. We're coming across over a year of providing this, so I give so much thanks. So, I'm going to just boil some white potatoes. I'm going to add. Um, green onions. I'm going to put a little olive oil. I don't see that there. And let me kind of move. Let me see if I can do this too. Okay, good. This is better. Um, and then a little Himalayan sea salt. Um, fresh ground black pepper. And you don't have to add this, but as some of you who have known, is I love truffle. And so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of truffle powder um, into the mashed potatoes. But you can leave that out. And here's the key. We get this from this, these cheeses. I know you guys have seen it that get it from both the food bank and also I get it from um, the village project. So we get a big thing. Sometimes they're huge, like two pounds. This one's only a pound, which is good. And you see, I've been using it. And then also the feather shredded cheddar cheese. Now I have to tell you, I'm gonna call these cheesy mashed potatoes maybe truffle cheesy mashed potatoes. I have used this cheese for a lot of things. It doesn't really melt good, but let me tell you, in mashed potatoes, they become creamy and they're the best. The other thing is about a week ago from the, um, from the Tennis Association food bag, I got this Swiss chard, isn't this beautiful? Now this is a week old, and you know all I did was rinse it, See, this is a little wilted, just a little, but that's not bad for a week. Rinse it, drip it dry a little bit, and then wrap it in a paper towel, just like this, and then put it in a plastic bag. And so this lasted for a week. So we're going to saute these beautiful, almost fresh as, <laughs> fresh as when we first got them last week. All right, we'll just saute those in olive oil and a little bit of, a little bit of salt. And that's it. And then, of course... We got the ribs in the oven. All right, so let's get started. Really easy breezy. I know you know you guys know how to do this, but I will um, 
I'll show you anyway. Let me add something. Instead of adding butter, since the summer is here, cutting down on the butter, well, on the fat, let's just call it what it is. Because I like going to the beach and going to the pool. Okay, so I'm gonna just do these two. So now let's cut them up in. The smaller the, the, the cubes, the smaller you make them, the um, quicker they're boiled. And I think the ribs are almost done. They've been in for about an hour. I turned them once after half an hour and then they've been in about an hour. So I'm gonna kind of make these kind of small. And also I like to boil them down because to me they're more starchy and um, I like to boil all the water down. fill it up all the way to the top and put it on the stove and let it boil. All right, mise en place. Uh, what are we calling this? Cheesy truffle mashed potatoes on their way. All right, y'all, see you later. Hi, to the stove, to the stove. And our boiled potatoes to make our smashed potatoes. Woo, look at that, y'all. I literally boiled it down where there's no water. And that's what you want. You gotta kinda watch it. Sometimes I scorch it, but I did really good this time. Sometimes you can take it off the heat and let it absorb, but I don't want any water in here, and if it is, pour it out. Start with the smash. And for some reason, if I salt it early on, I don't know, it just seems that I can use less salt. Plus I'm using Himalayan pink salt, which has really great minerals in more so than your regular table salt. But you can use that or sea salt, whatever you prefer. I just really like this pink Himalayan salt. Plus I think I got this at um, Grocery Outlet, this big, uh, what is this, a two pound bag for like nothing. <laughs> um, so we'll start with the salt. And see how I'm just literally smashing it is olive oil. Easy OO. Love it. It's a healthier fat than butter. But hey, you can always use butter. Because we get butter in the food bank often. So I always have butter and eggs. It's a wonderful thing. And potatoes and carrots. <laughs> it's great to have staples. Okay, what else y'all? So now let's put in some fresh ground black pepper. Uh oh. Okay, and what else? So now let's put in the miracle cheese. Y'all are gonna die when you see how creamy. So I'll put in maybe the rest of the mozzarella. I don't know how much that is. So let's do all of it. Stir that around. This mozzarella really makes it creamy, really creamy. And like it's literally almost like cream in it. And then the, anyway, so here is the cheddar. I really like the cheddar. And you can see I've used about half the bag. And this really does add flavor. And it melts a little bit. Look at that, y'all, looks so good. Looks so good. See how that mozzarella just made it creamy? Looks so good, y'all, okay. And actually we can taste now. See how simple that was? Mashed potatoes boiled all the way down where there's no water, salt, pepper. Oh, so good. Oh my God, so good, you guys. And we use the food bank cheese, both the mozzarella and the cheddar. 
so far that's all we have and guess what it's perfect so I'm gonna just add these green onions and I want both the green and the white and now I also will put a little bit of the truffle that's let me turn around the the onions first mix in the onions so it doesn't sit on the onions look how creamy that is look at that y'all isn't that isn't that a great way to use all that cheese and the kids will love this are you kidding me maybe they'll eat the broccoli you know <laughs> you put this next to some broccoli please you'll have them eating healthy in no time okay now I'm going to put a little bit of my truffle powder. Of course you can leave this out or if you have truffle oil, you can put truffle oil in. Um, but usually people either like truffle or they don't. <laughs> I happen to like it. And just put a little sprinkling. You know, just a little bit. Can you see that? Just a little sprinkle of the powder. I also have the salt. But I really don't like the sodium, so I just like the flavor. So just spread that in a little bit. Once again, the thick beauty of this. I'm telling y'all. Okay. Potato, y'all. Yummy. Mmm. One, two, three. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. See that cheese there, y'all? See that cheese? Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. So bad. Okay. I keep these on warm on the stove while I do the Swiss chard and then we're done. Alright. Swiss chard time. And we'll cut the Swiss chard. And I just like just cutting it straight down. I don't usually roll these. These are so tender. They break down so easily. And literally just a little bit of avocado oil. And I kind of like the stems. I'll cut them just a little thinner. So look at this beautiful Swiss chard from our Tenants Association neighborhood solidarity network a week old look how fresh okay to the skillet they go of um avocado oil which is now one of my favorite has a higher smoke point than extra virgin olive oil and i use it for so many things now I should use my give it a facial. It's really good if you guys have acne or, you know, I've gotten this rash on my um, bottom chin around the mask. And uh, every maybe once a week or twice a week, I just take the massage it into that area, and that's it. I let it sit on my skin overnight. In the morning, all of the little acne, all the little little bumps and irritation, they're gone. So anyway, give it a try. Avocado. Look it up if you don't believe me. <laughs> 100% avocado oil, what the health benefits are and the beauty benefits. Okay, so I think I've got that nice and warm, that skillet. And we will just take... Beautiful Swiss chard from our food bag. I didn't hear a sizzle, so that means that it's going to warm up. That's fine. So I'm going to put a little bit of Himalayan salt again, the pink stuff, extra minerals. And then I kind of felt like with the potatoes, with the truffle and the creaminess of the cheese, that I would add just a little bit of garlic, and I didn't want to chop up any garlic, a little bit of garlic powder in my Swiss chard. Okay, now literally just a couple of turns is all we'll need on the Swiss chard. See, I've got a little chart. I just like it on high, but it probably should be on medium. So I'm going to turn it down to medium. 
I just want it nicely wilted. I'm going to garnish with a little bit of um, red paper flakes, just a little bit. Toss that one more time and let's get the ribs out and let's plate. All right, all right, mise en place. We'll be right back. Time to plate. I don't know, about an hour, about an hour and a half, maybe an hour. I turned them over and then, no, 45 minutes I turned them over and then um, put a little sauce on and then another maybe 30 minutes or so but you can tell depending on the tenderness these are really tender they also have a big bone so they're kind of thick so let's um let's take this end piece here come on please cooperate where's the bone where's the bone not really huh that bone I love this cast iron grill for doing it in the oven, doing ribs in the oven, because it really gives it that nice, those are two nice pieces, huh? Okay, rib there. Looks kind of good, huh, y'all? And we'll take this rib here. We're going to make it pretty. There we go. That's good, right? And okay, so... I make my own barbecue sauce and I'll refer to which video, I can't remember which one I did where I showed you, but it's basically ketchup, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sire, <laughs> the ketchup, Worcestershire sire, uh, Dijon mustard, um, apple vinegar, um, and then the spices are cayenne, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder. Cuban and paprika, smoked paprika and regular paprika, and a little bit of brown sugar and molasses <laughs> and pepper flakes. <laughs> but I've got the recipe on there, I'll show you. So um, I'm gonna just, I put a little bit on the last 30 or 40 minutes, and so now I'm gonna just do a little, you know how we do it, kind of make it look really good. Very good. All right. And then now let's get those potatoes. Get the potatoes. The potatoes are coming. Those that have been warming. Look how creamy. Can you? I just wonder if you can really see how creamy these are. Aren't these the best creamy, cheesy mashed potatoes? Easy that you've ever seen. We'll put those right smack in the middle. Come on, come on. Show them how it's done. Creamy potatoes, cheesy potatoes, cheesy truffle potatoes. So easy. Everything from our food bag, y'all. We're so lucky. We're so lucky. A little more at the top of that. Look at that. <laughs> ah. All right. We like having fun in the sun. Look at that, just beautiful. Nice and tender, a little char. Mm, 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 mm. Now what are you, what, what, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. Swiss chard sauteed with, what do we have? Garlic powder, Himalayan salt and cheesy truffle potatoes, mashed white potatoes, and with um, mozzarella and cheddar cheese and a little bit of EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, and green onions. All of that from the food bank except for the truffle. You can leave the truffle out, but I love it. Uh, the truffle powder. And then we have these quick in the oven ribs done on a cast iron grill. Real easy, marinated them in teriyaki. Yummy for two days. Beautiful, y'all. Okay, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. So the first thing I'm gonna go for are these creamy, cheesy. Oh my god, I wish you could see them. I don't have any string, but just know. These are so and there's no butter. There's no butter, there's no cream. 
cheesy, wonderful mashed potatoes with mozzarella, cheddar, green onions. All right, it's going in, it's going in the mouth, yeah, it's going in the mouth. Okay, one, <laughs> excuse me, one, two, three. Oh, that is so creamy and so good. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of this wonderful, healthy, sauteed, just really lightly, Swiss chard. Mmm, one, two, <laughs> three, one, two, one, <laughs> two, three. Mmm, mmm, really clean, mmm, really nice. Got a little bit of garlic, mmm, a few pepper flakes, a little bit of a bite, wonderful, okay. I have to say, the star of the show absolutely are these potatoes. Can I, let's just do another. Alright, you know the next step now. Those potatoes were great, but... Where am I gonna buy? I'm gonna buy right there. I'm gonna buy right there. I'm gonna buy right there. Got teriyaki. Got teriyaki. <laughs> Just by itself, in that cast iron, mashed potatoes, Swiss chard. Mm, yummy. Bye, y'all. Bye. Love you. Bye. Thank you, everybody.